Hi, my name is Bob Lindy. I'm an acupuncture physician and registered herbalist in St. Petersburg, Florida. Today I'm going to talk to you about using acupuncture to help with osteoarthritis. So there's many different reasons as why somebody might have osteoarthritis and oddly it can happen at various stages in life to both men and women. So everything from lifestyle, the area you live, medications, and the foods and things that we drink can all have an effect on osteoarthritis. So part of our approach using acupuncture is not only understanding the why you're getting osteoarthritis, but also helping to try to reverse the condition as well as dealing with some of the pain that's associated with osteoarthritis. So we're not only going to use acupuncture, but some of the other modalities that exist within Chinese medicine, such as massage, herbs, diet, and lifestyle, will all figure into the approach that your local acupuncturist will take to help you with dealing with the osteoarthritis that you may have. So today what we're going to do is we've already given an evaluation to our patient here to find out some of the basic approaches that we're going to take just using the acupuncture today. So I've gone ahead and selected some points on the body that are going to help to strengthen the kidney energy of the body, which we have a relationship to the bone in Chinese medicine. We have some unique terminology that we use oftentimes with it. So I'm going to go ahead and swab a couple of points that we're going to do the acupuncture on. And a lot of the points, in this case we're going to use a urinary bladder point that has a relationship to the kidney, are on both sides of the body and are good not only for strengthening the bones, but also for providing energy, helping with a weak low back, weak knees, and even sexual function in both men and women. So these points can be very, very effective. And there's many other things that, depending on what we combine it with, with the other points in the body, as well as the herbs and lifestyle changes we give can treat a variety of disorders associated with aging oftentimes. So those are our urinary bladder points and then we're going to do one that's on the what we call the doom meridian. And this one has similar functions to the other two that we did and helps to reinforce their action. We might also choose points on the leg or even some on the upper body that are very important for helping to strengthen bone and to strengthen the system overall. So it's important that you find a well-qualified and licensed acupuncturist in your area. It's very important that you make sure that they're qualified through the NCCOM and find an acupuncturist to make an appointment so they can get a proper evaluation and select all of the different acupuncture points as well as herbs that might be effective for you. So now that we've left these points in for about 20 minutes in her case, we can go ahead and remove these acupuncture points. And we might do a little bit of massage and work on some exercises that might help to strengthen, to support some of that bone that's starting to degenerate around a particular area. So I hope that each one of you goes out and finds a local acupuncturist who can deal with not only things of chronic aging, like osteoporosis, but also deals with a variety of other pain syndromes as well as internal medicine disorders. So please contact your local acupuncturist to provide the holistic care that you're hoping to get to solve the problems that you might have with your help. So this is Bob Lindy in St. Petersburg, Florida, helping you deal with osteoarthritis using acupuncture.